Hello and welcome back to the weekly ranking show where we go through all the top 10 players for the men and the women and all the changes throughout the week. There have been some big tournaments this week on the grass courts, including the ATB 500s in Halla and Queens Club. And there's some big changes happening around the top 10 and outside the top 10 as well. So let's get straight to it. Starting with the top 10 for the men for this week and no changes for the top 10 for the men. Not too many players played this week. We still have Novak Djokovic, world number one, followed by Daniel Medvedev at number two. Rafa Nadal, he's at number three. Stefano Tsitsipas, he's at number four. Dominic Thiem's at number five. Followed closely by Alexander Zverev at number six. Despite making the final of the ATP 500 event in Halle, Rublev stays at number seven. Federer, he's at number eight. And even though he won Queen's Club, Berrettini stays at number nine. And Roberto Batista Ragu rounds out the top 10. Let's go have a look at the top 10 for the race to Turin, the race to the ATP finals. Novak Djokovic, he stays at number one after winning the French Open a couple weeks ago. Pass stays at number two. But we do have a change after Andre Rublev made the final of Halle last week. He's actually gone up two spots to number three, bumping down. Down, Zverev and Nadal, who are now at four and five. Medvedev, he stays at number six. Berrettini stays at number seven. Karatsev at number eight. Sinner at number nine. And Hubert Hurkacz stays at number 10. Having a look at some of the players that have gone up in the rankings this week, we've got two players who have career high rankings after having really good weeks last week on the grass courts. The Halle Open champion, Ugo Umber, he's at a career high ranking number 25 in the world, which is six spots higher than last week. And Cam Norrie, He's at 34 in the world, which might get him a seeding at Wimbledon this year. He had a great week last week, and he is also at a career high ranking, seven spots higher than last time. Some of the players have dropped down in the rankings this week. We have Milos Raonic. He has dropped down four spots outside the top 20 now at number 22, and also confirmed that he's not going to be playing Wimbledon, so he might actually drop down a little bit more. And Dominic Kopfer, he's gone down 10 spots to number 63 after losing a lot of points over the week. Let's have a look at the top 10 for the women this week, and we have Ash Barty. She stays at world number one with Naomi Osaka close behind at number two. Simona Halep, the Wimbledon champion, defending champion, she'll be back hopefully next week. She stays at number three, followed very closely by Arena Sabalenka at number four. But we do have a change in the top 10 for the women. We have Sophia Kennan. She's dropped down to number six and Alina Spedalina takes her number five spot again. But those two are very close in the rankings, but going into Wimbledon, this is what the rankings will look like. Bianca Andreescu, she stays at number seven, followed closely behind Serena Williams at number eight. Iga Spiontek, she's at number nine, with Karolina Pliskova rounding out the top 10. Having a look at the race to Shenzhen, the race to the WTA finals, and we have no change this week because most of the big players that played last week didn't do so well. So Ash Barty, she is in the lead still at number one with the French Open champion Barbara Krajikova at number two, followed closely by Arena Sabalenka at number three. Naomi Osaka, the Australian Open champion, she's at number four. With Iga Spiontek at number five. Muguruza, she's at number six. Pavla Chengova stays at number seven, followed very closely behind Maria Sakkari at number eight. Jennifer Brady, the Australian Open finalist, she's at number nine. And Coco Goff rounds out the top 10. Players that have gone up in the rankings this week, we have Cornet. She's gone up to 56 in the world. That's seven spots higher than last week after a really, really good week at the German Open. And Samson Over, she is at a career high ranking, 63 in the world, going up 43 spots higher than last week. So she has just rocketed up the rankings after actually winning the German Open, which is a WTA 500 event. So she got a lot of points from that event. She's almost halved her ranking from outside the top 100, now to 63. Having a look at some of the players that have dropped down in the rankings this week, we have Martic. She's gone down four spots to number 29 in the world after losing a bunch of points this week. And Venus Williams, she continues to drop outside the top 100. She's down nine spots to 112 in the world, but she will be probably getting a wild card into Wimbledon this year. So she will be playing Wimbledon in the main draw, but her ranking continues to slide. So there it is, the rankings for the week. Not too many big, big changes in the top 10, but some players with career high rankings. And the race to the finals, the race to the ATP finals and WTA finals starting to shape up a little bit now. And after Wimbledon, it'll be pretty much locked in for the most part, especially those top five players. They'll be locked in usually after Wimbledon if they have a good run. But let me know down in the comments below, who do you think should be in the top 10? Who's missing for you? Or who's missing from the race to the ATP finals? Remember Federer, team, those guys aren't into the finals race because they haven't played enough this year. And also, don't forget, Rafa Nadal's not playing Wimbledon. How will that affect his ATP Finals campaign as well? So not too many changes in the top 10, but the rankings for Wimbledon, they're locked in stone.